Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 17 editing tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use transitions inside of Resolve. Now if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. Also follow my social media accounts to see some awesome behind the scenes content that I'm working on. I created an editing transition tutorial a couple of years ago now and there's been so many new features inside of Resolve that it's made that video redundant and unnecessary um, but if you are interested in learning fusion and how fusion works that is still a pretty good video to watch if you want to learn more about fusion and how it works so in the new version of DaVinci Resolve they've actually made it quicker and easier to make your own custom transitions and here's how to do it okay so I've opened up DaVinci Resolve 17 and I've already loaded in the clips that I want to use and I've done a very basic color correction and a bit of a color grade just to make the image look nice and I want to add a transition in between these two clips. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can zoom in and you can go to the cut in between these two clips and you can right click and you can add your own transitions from here and by default these are cross dissolves. Um, so I'm just going to go 25 frames because that's the frame rate I'm working in 25 frames so that's about a second duration and I can play this back and I've got a simple cross dissolve. You can adjust the length of the cross dissolve to however you want by clicking and dragging the edges like so or you could go over to the inspector window and you can select the transition and make sure you're in the transition part of the inspector window and you can see there's quite a few things you can adjust for your transition. So I'm going to change the transition type. I'm going to change it from a cross dissolve to, we can choose any one of these. So you've got your standard sort of transition. So you've got like clock wipes, center wipes, additive dissolves, um, smooth cut. I might change this to an additive dissolve. So let's just play this back. And you can see it gets a bit brighter as it transitions as it dissolves and you can also go in and change the duration by clicking and dragging the seconds or you can go by frames if you want to do it that way but i'm just gonna leave it around the one second mark i'm going to leave these other ones here just because i don't really use them for anything and you can also adjust the ease as well i'm going to change that to in and out so this will give you a bit more of an s curve i don't know if you can see it here i'm just going to zoom in so by default it was none so it's like this straight line and then i can click ease and choose in and out and that will give a bit more of an s curve which will make it look smoother and yeah i'm just going to delete this and i'm going to add a transition in another way so you can go into your effects library at the top here make sure that's selected and you can go over to video transitions and you can add transitions in this way. Now, a really cool thing about DaVinci Resolve 17 is you're able to hover over each of the transitions you want to play back and you can see exactly what this transition will do. You've also got like a little icon so you can kind of see what it does. Yeah, so I, I can go in and just click and drag whatever one that I want. Also in DaVinci Resolve 17, with the transitions, they've also added a really nice fusion transition feature. So you can actually go down and you can see your fusion transitions here, just underneath the fusion transitions title. And you can see some really cool pre-made transitions. So we've got camera shake. If you've seen my previous video on how to do transitions, um, do your own custom transitions. I did something very similar inside of fusion and this was from scratch. It's really nice that Blackmagic has added these transitions that a lot of people were trying to recreate in the previous versions and made an easier way to apply it to your clips without having to spend you know an hour trying to make your own custom transitions for a quick few seconds so that's really cool so let's just find one that we like so i might use this film strip transition here as you can see, it has like a nice roll to it. So I'm just going to click and drag it onto my clip. And as you can see, when I select the clip and in transition, I can see the effect film strip. And I can go into 
the controls and I can change the shutter angle uh, and that will change the amount of motion blur. So if you don't want too much motion blur, you can just bring your shutter angle down a little bit. Um, you can change your center bias as well. I'm just going to leave it at default. Um, you can change film color as well. So if you want to give it that sort of brown color, I might just bring the red down just a little bit. So now it's a bit more of a film strip effect. And another really cool feature about these fusion transitions is you can actually customize this in the fusion tab if you want to play around and customize it in there a little bit more and tweak it to your liking. Now you would think going to the fusion tab and clicking the fusion tab when you're hovering over the transition will allow you to customize the transition, but that's not actually true. So when I open it up, you can see that nothing's happening. You cannot see any of the fusion transition and it just simply opens up your clip, your first clip. So when you've added a fusion transition, what you would want to do is you want to go to the transition and go to the film strip effect here for this example. And then you'll see a little icon over here. Click that and that will take you over to the fusion because that's the fusion icon as you can see down here. So we can see when we open it up, we've got our media in two, which is our second clip and then our media in one, which is our first clip. And to customize the film strip transition, all you need to do is just double click and that will open up a bigger window and now you can see what went into creating this custom transition and you can go in there and you can make some more adjustments if you wanted to and we can change the dissolve as well we can also change the flip the film color as well we can go in there and double click and we can change it that way as well we can change the rectangle shape so we can give it a bit more of a soft edge if we wanted to uh, border width we can adjust that this is also a good way if you want to learn how fusion works as well you can go in here and you can have a look at the different fusion transitions that have been made using the fusion transitions feature and you can go in there and you can open up fusion and kind of use this as a way to learn how uh, these nodes work and create your own transitions as well. So that's how you do editing transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.